This morning, U.S. troops that President Trump said were coming home from Syria are instead moving into Iraq. Defense Secretary Mark Esper, who was in Afghanistan this morning, says the soldiers will continue fighting ISIS. He also said that some of those troops would be left in eastern Syria to protect oil fields from attack. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has also been visiting Afghanistan after a trip to Jordan to discuss security in Syria. Holly Williams is in southern Turkey near the Syrian border. Holly, what's the latest on the U.S. withdrawal? Good morning. The U.S. is now considering a plan to keep around 200 American troops in eastern Syria, CBS News has confirmed. That's despite President Trump ordering the controversial withdrawal of U.S. forces from that area earlier this month. As U.S. troops withdraw from eastern Syria, locals threw objects at this American convoy. Their departure is a betrayal, according to the Kurdish fighters who battled with U.S. forces against ISIS. They were America's closest partners on the ground in Syria. The hospital. We witnessed them beating back the militants and laying down their lives. They came under attack from Turkey this month after President Trump effectively opened the door to a Turkish offensive, announcing that U.S. forces would pull back from the border. Turkey views the Kurdish-led group as a terrorist organization. It's difficult to believe that just last month we were on a U.S. base in Syria, where the senior right. special That's forces right. commander yeah, in the campaign we, against we're, ISIS we're the described region. the close so relationship we between were, American uh, troops and Kurdish fighters. Are you seeing an ISIS insurgency here? We see the uh, beginnings of one, and uh, that's where we are, uh, we are working very hard with our partner here uh, to stay after them and not allow that to happen. Now the Kurdish forces say they've stopped fighting ISIS. Syrian regime troops have moved into parts of their territory and 200,000 civilians have reportedly fled the clashes with Turkey. Vice President Mike Pence negotiated a ceasefire with Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan last week, but it runs out tomorrow. The other impact of the U.S. withdrawal is to hand even greater influence to Russia. Turkey's President Erdogan will meet with the Russian President Vladimir Putin tomorrow. The future of eastern Syria could be decided at that meeting, at which the United States will play no part. Gail. All right, Holly Williams reporting from the Turkey-Syria border. We thank you.